A neck brace. Do you believe that? I'm surprised he doesn't have both legs in the cast. Make your name, please. Uh, Harry Duggan, sir. I, I'm sorry I'm late, Your Honor, but I was at the doctor's at Whiplash. Yeah, so it appears. Uh, the defendant will return, please. Now, you understand that I will hear both sides, and then the court will render a decision. Yes, Your Honor. A hey, plaintiff first. You may use the blackboard. Well, it's rather difficult, Your Honor. You see, I can hardly turn my head, but I was, uh, I was parked uh, here, and uh, she was parked uh, like that. I had just come from the market with my groceries. My wife usually does the shopping, but poor woman is bedridden. Uh, just stick to what happened in the parking lot, Mr. Duggan. Yes, sir. Well, I got into my car, and I turned my head carefully and uh, looked out the rear window. Of course, I can't turn my head now, but uh, I looked, and I saw it was clear. So I started to back up very slowly, when all of a sudden, she came barreling out of her parking space and wham, bang, ran right into me. Of course, <laughs> you know how women drivers are, Your Honor. Whether the other driver is male or female is not pertinent. Except, of course, to his or her spouse. <laughs> oh, I understand, sir. I just meant to tell... Have you anything to add? Uh, have you any witnesses? Oh, or no, sir. I just have here an itemized list of the uh, damages to my car. No, thanks to her, I could have been banged up a lot worse than this. Of course, I can't even turn my head. Because you have made that abundantly clear. Mr. Brady, it's your turn. Thank you. Your Honor, I agree with Mr. Duggan on only one point. We were both parked. But I was the one who looked back to make sure everything was clear. He couldn't have, otherwise he wouldn't have hit me. No, you're the one that didn't look out because you hit me. Oh, just a minute, Mr. Mr. Duggan, I believe you have had your turn. Uh, children, are you witnesses? Oh, yes, Your Honor. I object, Your Honor. She probably told him what to say. Mr. Duggan, the court does not need advice from you. <laughs> State your names, please. Marsha Brady. Robert Brady. Cynthia Brady, Your Honor. Now, children, the story that your mother told about the accident in the parking lot, is that true? Did she turn around and carefully look before she backed up? Yes, Your Honor, I saw her look back. Uh, are you sure? Yes, sir, I'm sure. But Sidney and I didn't see her, Your Honor. He spilled ice cream on my dress. I did not. He did too. I did not. He did too. I did not. He did too. I did, I did not. <laughs> be seated, children. The court finds itself with two completely conflicting accounts of this accident. Now, on the one hand, Mr. Duggan states categorically that he looked very carefully before he pulled his car out. And on the other hand, Mrs. Brady contends the same thing. This leaves the court to settle the decision entirely on the testimony of both the litigants. Hey, he turned his head. Yeah, he turned his head. No, I didn't. I I, uh, I just was, uh... Mr. Duggan, it is the opinion of the court that your neck brace was an overt attempt to change the opinion of this court, therefore beclouding your testimony. I find in favor of the defendant. Oh, thank you. 